Well, this is the big question. It's not really clear how he's going to do that. Probably, probably he will sell some public assets. What is clear, though, is that he won't touch the main two measures, the main two political promises that were made during the political campaign. One of these is a boost for lower income families. The other one is the pension reform. I think Italy now wants to send a very clear signal to the European Commission. They want to talk to them. The European Commission has said that significant progress has been made. They haven't yet voted on this uh, proposal. This will happen in the next few hours. We know that uh, Finance Minister Tria is in Brussels right now and he will keep talking to the European Commission on this. And Contes, uh, uh, he now obviously, as you, as you mentioned, that has to bring this back uh, to the Italian Parliament. How easy is that going to be? It's not that uh, easy in the sense that we know the Italian government is very much divided on this. There's one side of the government which is more moderate. One of uh, them is Prime Minister Conte. The, the other one is Finance Minister uh, Tria. But the other side, uh, Salvini and Di Maio, they didn't want to go at the beginning below the 2.2% of uh, GDP. So now they've made uh, significant concessions. What is important, though, is that they have to vote this budget in Parliament within the 31st of December in order to avoid sanctions and a potential procedure for uh, excessive deficit might be ratified on the 21st of January. Why is it that Italy is so much in the line of fire here? I mean, France has a, a deficit target that's above what Italy had first proposed. Yes, uh, Brussels is very much uh, worried about Italy. Italy is the l third largest uh, economy in the Eurozone, but yet has one of the largest uh, debt. Well, in the case of France, we know that President Macron has to make some concessions to the Yellow Vest movement, pushing the deficit higher. But the difference is that uh, even though France has a higher uh, deficit, the debt there is lower. So a different situation there, Bella.